Hi guys, my name is Fahd Daud. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. We talk about real estate investing, life, your path to financial freedom. If you've not hit the subscribe button, please do so. It helps me, makes me happy, and encourages me to make more videos. Something I want you to be careful about and something that I've learned over the last 14, 15 years I've been in the real estate market. You have to be very wary and careful when people offer you guarantees, right? Here's the simple fact. There's nothing in life that's guaranteed except for one thing, which is, as somber as it might sound, death, right? So death for everybody is pretty much certain and guaranteed. Everything apart from that is not guaranteed. Things could go up this way, things could go down this way. You could be happy, you could be sad. When it comes to investments, I, over the last 15 plus years, with investments, not just in real estate, but in other areas as well, have learned over a large number of transactions and a large period of time, that when anybody offers you a guaranteed return, there's something too good to be true and it's something fishy. Now in Dubai, it's no longer very popular, but the last three or two years, as the sales were slowing down, you saw a lot of developers. I call them not the tier one developers, but a lot of developers were offering rental guarantees. So buy this apartment, buy this villa from us, and we'll give you an eight, nine, 10% guaranteed return on the amount you invest with us for three, four, five, 10 years. Now, why do I say you gotta be very wary of this? Recently, oh, first of all, let me talk about something very unique. In one of my videos, I talked about how Dubai as an entity, a city, a country, it's not a country, it's part of the UAE, but as a city, is one of those places where I've seen the most amount of real estate regulation come out. Now, the head of the real estate regulatory agency about three years ago, I heard him in person say this, that all the companies that are offering rental guarantees of eight years for three years, we as the government are going to ask them to put up a financial instrument a bond, a guarantee with the bank to guarantee those guarantees that they're giving the customers because the government here after the 2008-2009 crisis have figured out that if investors ever get burned by investing in Dubai, it's not that the investors get burned and the developers' reputation and credibility gets marred through the dirt, but it's Dubai's reputation that gets affected. So the Dubai government's very serious about making sure that the investors are protected that does not mean that you gotta close your eyes and just invest anywhere. You still gotta go do your due diligence or have somebody do your due diligence for you. So this is what Mr. Marwan Al Galeta said back two, three years ago to curtail the developers who are offering guarantees left, right, center, because you gotta remember for the developers, sometimes making the sale is more important at this moment in time. The rental guarantee is gonna be given after three years so they can kind of like postpone it. And I've seen a in-person recent example where a developer guaranteed 9% for two years, 9%. Now, it wasn't specified if it was a gross guarantee or a net guarantee, but when it came time to hand over the apartment, now obviously I'm not naming the developer, so don't ask me to name the developer, but when it came time to hand over the apartment, what I saw was that they made the agreement that the owner had to sign so complex and so ridiculous that it was just better to walk away from the 9% rent, excuse me, rental guarantee. And the reason is, one of the clauses, for instance, I'll point out to you was that you, as the owner of the apartment, need to give them the apartment for 10 years, an unbreakable lease regardless of what happens. You can't break it and they can. Now, any layman lawyer will tell you that when a contract's put together, one of the key things in a contract is balance. Both parties should have a clause that mention terms and conditions on where termination by either party is allowed. And this contract just blatantly stated that the developer can terminate the contract, but the individual owner can't. So basically, essentially, he gives them the apartment for 10 years, he gets 9% for two years, and after that, they continue running the apartment, but what kind of return he gets, 
God knows best, right? Because once they start running the apartment, you don't know what kind of money they're charging for rent per year, what kind of service charges are getting deducted, and then what kind of rent you're getting in return for you. I've been a big believer for a while in hotel investments, but this is one of the reasons that I am now going to start thinking carefully about the hotel investments in Dubai as well, because unless the developer is really reputable and credible, you know what? You don't have control over the hotel investments. You gotta be a little bit careful. Last but not the least, if you notice in the Dubai market, the main big top tier developers, I'm talking Imar, Dubai properties, namely Miraz, they did not offer the rental guarantees. And there's a reason behind it. They've got a team of financial analysts that advise them on what makes fiscal financial sense, what does not make financial sense, and then they've got the legal team that tells them what they could be liable for if they promise this just to make a sale today. So the top tier developers in Dubai who've gone through the global financial crisis, they're more careful with what they promise. RERA, the real estate regulatory agency, holds developer responsible for what they promise even in the marketing collateral. So when the market works in sync, they're there to in protect the investors. Do not get duped by the developers who are not there to serve you in their capacity to give you value. Look, I'm out, hit the subscribe button, press the bell icon. If you've got questions, put them in the comments below in, the, in YouTube itself, or you can WhatsApp me. I'm gonna to respond to you and either take up your questions and go through them in my weekly Q&A session, or I'll tell you how I can work with you one-on-one -on -one if you wish to do so. Ciao, talk to you soon.